Shalom. Today I'd like to show you a Bible code called the Rainbow Covenant. And here is the access term right here in the red going up. And it's found at a letter skip of 5614. Now this access term is only found once in all of the Torah and it spans from Numbers chapter 1 to Deuteronomy chapter 31. After the worldwide flood that occurred in the days of Noah, Yahuwah made a covenant promising to never destroy the earth again with water. The rainbow was given as a sign of this everlasting covenant. And so we already saw that this is the word rainbow, and then the covenant is in the blue going up diagonal. The word everlasting is here in the mauve color going down diagonal. And then the word flood is in this teal color going up vertically. In Hebrew, the rainbow is translated as bow in the clouds. Genesis chapter 9 verses 12 to 16 says, And God said, This is the sign of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I set my rainbow in the cloud, and it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. It shall be, when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the rainbow shall be seen in the cloud, and I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. The waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. The rainbow shall be in the cloud, and I will look on it to remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. It's interesting to note that there are over 200 flood legends from different cultures around the world. These legends from antiquity have been handed down orally or written down in texts of various languages. One example is the Babylonian flood story in the Epic of Gilgamesh. Though the details and names of the characters may vary, these many stories provide powerful evidence that there was an actual biblical worldwide flood. The word antiquity is here in the teal lettering going down, the same skip as the access term. The word text or book is in the yellow and it's crossing the access term. Babylonian is here in the blue lettering going down. Again, the same skip as the access term. The Bible tells us what it was like before the flood. In Genesis chapter 6, it says that the sons of God, who were fallen, disobedient angels, that they married and cohabitated with women, producing a race of giant offspring called the Nephilim. Jude 1 6 in the New Testament alludes to this rebellion which was an attempt to defile the human race that was originally created in the image of Yahuwah. It says, And the angels who did not keep their proper domain, but left their own abode, he, that's Yahuwah, has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of the great day. And twice we have the word angelic, and it's here. And in the same line, here. And the word disobeyed is here, and it's six letters long, going down diagonally, crossing over the access term. Married is here in this teal going up. We looked at it earlier, going the other way, it says antiquity, but married goes up. Nephilim is here, and it's crossing the access term. And the word judgment is in the same line as Nephilim here in the orange. Genesis chapter 6 verse 5 tells us, Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the word evil is here going down.
Yahuwah commanded Noah to build an ark, giving him specific directions and measurements. After the ark was built, Yahuwah told him to take a male and female matching pair of every air-breathing creature onto the ark. And the word ark is right in the green here, right below the access term. The word match is here in the purple going down. And then twice we have the word matching and it's here in the blue going to the left. And then it's down here going to the right. And the word creature is here in the light green going down diagonal. Then it rained for 40 days and for 40 nights. Noah and his wife, their three sons and their wives, were the only people to survive the flood. Eight people were saved, and eight is the number of new beginnings. All the people on the earth today are descended from this family of eight. The evil generation from Noah's day were dispossessed and removed from the earth. The phrase 40 days and 40 nights is right here in this yellow and light teal coloring. It's amazing that it's right below the access term and it's found in Deuteronomy chapter 9 verse 9 where Moses has gone up on the mountain to receive the tablets from Yahuwah. And so what are the odds that the only access term for the rainbow in the Torah has right in it the phrase 40 days and 40 nights. The word family is here in this dark blue going down and the word dispossession is here in the gray going to the right. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 7 says, By faith Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world, and became heir of the righteousness which is according to faith. And the word faith is here in the gold coloring going to the left. The flood created the perfect conditions for the fossilization of plants and animals that were destroyed in this catastrophic upheaval. Many of these creatures have faced extinction since the time of the flood. The word fossilization is here in the brown coloring going to the right. And extinction is here up at the top going to the right. Yahusha tells us in Luke chapter 17 verses 26 and 27, And as it was in the days of Noah, so it will also be in the days of the Son of Man. They ate, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. And Yahusha, Jesus, is here in the purple lettering. The Apostle Paul tells us in Second Thessalonians that in the last days there will be a strong delusion and a great apostasy a falling away from the faith. Delusion is in this peach color going to the right. So I encourage you all, especially in these days, to draw near to Yahuwah. James chapter 4 verse 8 says, Draw near to God, to Elohim, and he will draw near to you. And that concludes our presentation for today. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Shalom.